Yeah, I'm Kevin Rodriguez, captain of the Nancy McAllister. We're headed out to get the New England this afternoon. Hi, I'm Pete Rodriguez. I'm a deckhand for Portland Tugboat in Portland, Maine. And we should have her docked in about two hours. Getting ready now. There he goes. As we're going through the harbor, the ship with the with the big bow pushes the water out. And it basically creates like, almost like a tidal wave. So we have to use more force to make that, that landing. Okay. Yeah, so that's about as, uh, about as crazy it gets on a, on a tug. Uh, basically what happened is uh, one of the bridge spans didn't open. And when that happens, you know, obviously tugs have to help them to stop to slow down if the bridge doesn't open. That's one of the major reasons that we dock these ships is to be a safety net. when all of a sudden yeah in those situations things happen fairly fast you know um, you have to really think on your feet in this job and uh, the pilot especially and he has, easy, Andrew, easy, push, easy. he has to make decisions uh, split-second decisions and so he made that decision get the line up as soon as he knew that the bridge wasn't opening get the line up get the boats in position be ready to work this could never happen without tugs this could never happen without tugboats no Yeah, we're all finished with the job, headed back to the barn. We're gonna tie up the boat, and uh, we got a couple obstacles on our way here. We got a uh, kayaker coming up. Little little guys you gotta watch out for in the summertime, kayakers and paddle boarders, things like that. Do you have a boat? Pleasure boat yourself? I do not have a pleasure. I have a canoe. I have a canoe on the lake, but I do not have a, uh, a boat uh, with an engine of any sort. Do you have a boat yourself? I technically do have a boat. <laughs> this boat's been sitting in his driveway for 10 years. <laughs> but it's a nice boat. It's a nice boat. It's a Stingray. And someone should buy it, for sure. You know, we all share the harbor. We got uh, the water taxi, the ferry boat, a sailboat, a cabin cruiser, a lobster boat, a dragger, and another lobster boat. You know, I don't think people realize how much they we all need each other. So it's... Uh, it's an interesting connection the ocean is, you know, I, I think something like 90% of the population of the earth live on the water, and uh, mostly because they make a living from the water. And I uh, didn't know what a tugboat was until I was in high school. Ended up working here where my little brother was already working, so um, just kind of fell into place and been here ever since, 17 years.